The pandemic has affected a wide spectrum of businesses. Many are depending on another round of federal help just to survive. Joining me now is David Berman. He's chief financial officer at the Other Half Brewing Company. David, thank you for joining us. The pandemic has taken a good chunk out of your business right there. How has the mm -hmm. Paycheck Protection Program helped your brewery? And, and it, is it enough to keep the doors open? Uh, I mean, it was definitely a scary times back in uh, February and March and April when this was all going down. Uh, we were very fortunate to apply and to get accepted into the program. And that really was a lifeline to our business to be able to hire back uh, about 25 to 30 percent of the employees that we had to let go uh, during the height of the pandemic. Um, and that was able we were able to retrain them and put them into different positions. Um, so it was, it was a lifeline to our business. Your company has expanded into several locations throughout New York City and even also expanded into Washington, D.C. What are some of the challenges you faced as a small business while having to expand and, and trying to expand during this pandemic? Yeah, well, the nature of our business, it's a direct-to-consumer business. We pride ourselves on having the best you know, customer experience. That means coming into our venues. And so when we signed these leases to open up two new spaces to essentially double our business, our capacity in our business. Uh, we signed these leases in 2018. Obviously, we thought 2020 would be a totally different environment than it became. And it's been, you know, a, a real struggle to, for, for especially the new businesses in a, in a new city, you know, to get people in the doors and get people aware of, of our product. And, um, you know, having a, an ongoing business in Brooklyn was, was great and the Finger Lakes region. Uh, but the D.C. area has been, has been definitely a struggle. The brewery business is big, but it's also a tight-knit family. Your brewery is helping other businesses during this pandemic. How is the company supporting them while you yourselves are, are trying to keep the candles lit? Yeah, I mean, well, well it is such a great community. And uh, we threw a beer festival called Pastry Town uh, right in the middle of February. And then a week or two later, the New York City shut down. And we had 100 of our best brewery friends from across the world come to New York. We hosted them. We threw a great festival. And when this happened, we all realized that, yeah, this is difficult for us, but it's got to be, you know, horrible for, for a majority of the businesses, not just breweries, but a lot of uh, service industries across the country. And so we launched this initiative uh, called All Together that uh, ended up having over 850 uh, breweries in multiple countries around the world participate and with the idea that, A, this would help keep your own brewery afloat and help donate money to local causes. Uh, we, do we donated money to a few different local uh, restaurant service groups. So we were very proud of that. Well, David Berman, good luck to you in 2021. Have a happy new year, and hopefully you can uh, toast one of your cold beers. <laughs> happy new year. Thanks for having us.